Hello, everyone, and welcome to Financial Accounting. Today, we will talk about another inventory write-down approach called lower of cost or net realizable value. If inventory declines in value below its original cost, for whatever reason, a company should write down the inventory to reflect this loss. The general rule is to abandon the historical cost principle when the future revenue producing ability of the asset drops below its original cost. In this situation, companies write down inventory to net realizable value to record this loss. Net realizable value is the net amount that the company expects to realize from the sale of inventory. It is an estimated selling price in the ordinary course of business, less a reasonably predictable cost of completion, disposal, and transportation. Let's look at an example. Johnson Corporation has unfinished inventory with a cost of $850, a sales value of $1,000, an estimated cost of completion of $75, and estimated selling costs of $175. Johnson's net realizable value is computed by subtracting the estimated cost of completion of $75 and the estimated cost to sell inventory of $175 from the inventory sales value of $1,000. The net realizable value is $750. The company reports inventory at $750. In its income statement, Johnson reports a loss due to decline of inventory to net realizable value of $100, which is $850 less $750. In other words, the difference between the estimated selling price and the net realizable value is the cost required to complete and sell the product. The difference between inventory cost and net realizable value is the loss that the company must recognize. Same as with the lower of cost or market, lower of cost or net realizable value rule can be applied at the individual item, category, or total inventory levels. If you haven't watched my video about the lower of cost or market approach, the link is posted here and in the description below. Let's look at general journal entries to record write-downs of inventory. In both cases, inventory is reduced or credited. Inventory is an asset account and is increased by debit and decreased by credit. If the amount is immaterial, the debit is to the cost of goods sold account. The cost of goods sold is an expense account and is increased by debit and decreased by credit. I'm posting the link to the rules of debit and credit video here and in the description below. If the amount is material, the account called loss due to decline in inventory value is debited. Note that losses are recorded in the other revenue or expense section of the income statements. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please subscribe, hit that like button and ring the notification bell so you are notified when we release more videos like this. Visit my channel for more videos on financial and intermediate accounting. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you all again in the next video.